For whatever reason, this city, despite the bonuses, just is not growing nearly as fast as I thought it was going to. Anyway, let's get the... that. And the glory of the Empire after that. Okay, cool. Oh, right. They lost population. I might actually move uh, Captain Farmman over after this. Do the old switcheroo. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, either way. Oh man, we're gonna we're sitting on Titan bones. Multiple, in fact. There's some more. So whenever winter rolls around, we will be able to get the Abbey of Anomalies, which is important, but more so the Luxury Intensifier, because it doubles the luxury uh, resources and gives extra money. Oh, wait, hold on. One copy in your city. Okay, so that's not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. Eh, whatever. So th that means I I can put it on, probably on top of Titan Bones, so I can get more of it. But I think there's another one for Strategic Resources, too. Yeah, Strategic Intensifier. One per city, though. Is that the same with the uh, Abbey of Anomalies? One copy in your city. So... I guess uh, my whole crazy prepare for the Abbey of Anomalies thing doesn't work so well. That's why I couldn't build multiple of them on the last playthrough. I guess it's not my... Uh, I guess it's my fault for not reading. Eh, that's fine. <sighs> we should get a winter almost immediately. Almost looks like we're gonna hit it now, but no. Anyway, we're getting crazy amounts of Garths. A lot of neutral units running around here. That will not stand. I'm gonna go punch him in the face bits. Okay, you... You're going over there. You're my... Settler, that's fine. We're under siege somewhere. Oh, that's fine. We'll have that in a second. We're over there. We can take them out. Uh, there's nothing big I'm building. We'll have roads, probably. I'm going to avoid the chapel just for a second. The extra people would be nice, but not they're not that important. I guess I'll just do watchtowers. Because they're cheap. Right? They don't cost... Yeah, they don't cost pearls. So I can build a bunch of watchtowers pretty fast. Soul to ten is... It's getting there. Yeah, it's great food. Which I like. We're doing Glory of the Empire. That's fine. Okay. And we'll probably have this... Uh, Varical start doing Garths as well. Yeah, we need to we need to expand a bit. And there's our winter. All right. Okay. I do so love winter. Yeah. So, like, this is the honestly the only. Oh God. Why are there all? Why are there all of these... You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm going to go just beat them up. We can take the other group out. Oh yeah, there's... No contest. Okay, we'll just go sit next to this, this group. Okay, so the Watchtowers are coming. Oh, Third Winter. Yes! Okay, so we can get the Abelia of Anomalies. Very tempting. Uh, but we're gonna start with the Luxury Intensifier. Now, if I'm lucky... I can't harvest them yet, but I will be able to. Oh okay, yeah, let's get the Palladian Extractifier. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough pearls yet that we can get it otherwise. Okay. Let's commit move. Who else do we have here? You. Luckily, it makes it really easy to get all my pearls back. Okay, so let's get another Luxury Intensifier. And that'll be good. Yeah, we don't have enough pearls to build any more Garths, but that's okay. Can't attack. Also okay. And I'll be able to take that up. But yeah, the, the inclusion of Titan Bones into my setup here is going to be nice. Trade Routes. Do we actually even have Trade Routes? One, zero to one. Zero to two. Right, because I have, like, zero diplomatic skill with anybody. That's why. Probably. That's my assumption. I don't know. I don't know if you can trade with people that you can't be friends with. 
I was thinking about that, actually, uh, kind of at the beginning of this run. I was like, I should get, um... I, I should, uh, you know, try and do, like, diplomacy. Oh, can't do diplomacy stuff. Oh, there's my, there's my answer. All right. So, yeah, let's just keep wiping out these neutral factions. Like, it's my job. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna commit move everybody. So you can't move yet. Luckily, there's a ton of pearls just, like, sitting here waiting for me. Go back for that. Okay, so you're not able to move. Well, you're able to move, but whatever. Okay, I'll take a couple of turns to get up there. These guys are a little injured, but it's not that bad. Okay. So, Antab, what can you build? Nothing. That's annoying. I guess let's build a settler. Or, like, several. I'll do it. Okay. So they'll attack in the next turn. Perfect. Yeah, because we might as well start uh, collecting these areas. And then, mostly, I'm going to leave the cities on the auto. Problem is, to grow the cities out, we need Garths. Which means we need Pearls. Which means most of my cities are going to be single tile. Sucks a bit, but I can make it... I, I mean, it's not so bad. Oh, yeah. Let's get the... Uh, Strategic Intensifier, probably. Because there's also the Winter Burrow, which is kind of nice. And the Abbey of Anomalies. The Strategic Intensifier is going to be very expensive. Whatever. We need it anyway. Can't reactivate Quicksilver, that's fine. Okay, you're moving. You're fighting. At some point, we'll probably want to worry about HP. We'll deal with that later. Okay, uh, so we're going to start getting the Jotus. And Watchtowers. What I might do is actually make a second set of Seekers here. Uh, yeah, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to make Army New Seeker. Uh, what I'm gonna give them is the non uh, limited resource stuff. So these guys are gonna take forever to build. Uh, and they're gonna be worth a very high production cost, comparatively. The reason why this is kind of useful, though, is, um... Uh, enter name. We're gonna call them the Uh So what I'm gonna do is build them and sell them. That's it. That's their job. They are literally there just so they can be sold for the most part. Might not always do it that way, but uh, if we don't have anything better to do, uh, I don't need a big military yet. We'll get there. We will. But uh, don't need it yet. Okay, so Antab has two settlers. One. So you're going there. Let's go down here. Where do we want to put it? Probably like over here. There's... There's a river. River's positioning is kind of bad. If we put it on the seaboard though, uh, we can use that to our advantage. Okay. So he's already leveled up. Uh, these guys are there. Okay, right. We have another settler. So we could go up to Idelia. Yeah, let's do it. There's a uh, moon leaf for the extra science, so that's uh, that's a good plan. Ah, oh, plus my army's kind of nearby. Oh yeah, let's take out one of these groups or stand next to them threateningly. Tekites are pretty easy to fight. Okay, and Antav has nothing better to do, so let's do probably a strategic intensifier. That'll get me extra uh, Palladian along the way. And money, and other things. And then apart from that, let's just start building Castronauts until we have other things we can do. Okay. Let's see, so you're working on management sciences. Uh, we'll do Central Market. We'll do... We'll do that later. Uh, 
Might not be a bad idea to get that one. More science. More of that. The problem is my industry has out outpaced my science pretty heavily here. So let's let's move this off. My people are very happy just because I'm blowing a lot of um I, I'm using a lot of uh Luxury boosters, so for the most part my people don't care. Let's move them back one. I think we heal more inside our own territory. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll buy some more administrators as soon as we get that city. Have you... Yep, you're out of moves. You'll be able to just plonk down on the next one. Yeah, we've got a river up there. Rivers are not a bad idea, but I don't think we're gonna do it. So we'll just plop down on top of probably this prairie. Yeah, because we want to do the uh, the anomaly booster. We want to do the anomaly booster on that one with the double industry. It would have probably been a nice idea to grab that pearl before we did, but I'm not going to reload. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Extra terrain with dust. Oh, he's going to be making so much money. Spices. And we cannot reactivate die for the time being. That sucks. Oh, that's fine. Inspect. So you can do building production cost reduction or reduced city upkeep. Or just more industry on city. No, that's useless. Uh, you know what? Let's do city upkeep. He's currently on um, Antab. You know what? He's too good to be on Antab. We're going to do a bit of a shuffle here. So we're putting him on Soldatan for the time being just because that's a huge industry boost. Uh, which is pretty useful. And this way we can get terrain with industry, extra exploitation, this. Uh, so this way we'll just start pumping out... Um, constructions. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. That'll be pretty fast. Let's actually speed it up a bit. There we go. Yeah, that'll make this really fast. So five turns to get everything done. And then after that, we'll switch um, Waybridge in. Because currently we don't need uh, we don't need Waybridge here. He helps monetarily. I will grant. But not that much. Uh, so these guys are fervent. They're building things fast. Population's big. Uh, if I throw them on science, they barely help. So let's not. Let's just keep them there. I'll be fine. We don't need the watchtowers that much either. I'm just going to give them kind of pointless busy work for a second. Okay, so you... You're there. We did burn through a lot of pearls in that last section. That last burst. Uh, that's okay. So let's destroy some of these groups. These techites are... Rough, actually. Okay, whatever. I got a bunch of glass steel, but let's, um... Let's turn tail for a bit. Okay, what else we got? We've got him moving, and we're gonna be making a bunch of new cities really quick here. So, speaking of, do I have... Nobody. Okay. So let's do heroes. So we've got Johnport. Johnport's always good. Dust boost is worthwhile. Let's see if I can find somebody. It's Tinu the Chosen. <laughs> we can get another Weira Sego. Like, literally just clones. Uh... You know, that's not a bad idea. So let me... Let's take a look at this. This one. Science on city. Science on terrain with anomaly. Expansion disapproval. Science on city. Eh, might not be a bad idea to get her. Uh, science boost one kind of sucks. There's also Tinu the Chosen. Let's get Tinu the Chosen. I'm gonna just throw him on Antab. He's fine. And, actually, seeing as Tinu the Chosen's on the city, this city, right now, right there, there we go. Um, so this way we get extra science per person thrown in here. Which is really good. Okay, let's... 
actually seek her to edit. Get rid of that necklace. Throw that one on. Anything else I'm missing? Not really. Okay. So let's retrofit these guys so they're a little tougher. Uh, we, ha we have money. Everything's looking good. Okay. Uh, oh, right. New, new settler here. Ah, uh, shit. I haven't been paying any attention to what I'm doing. Um... Hmm. Okay, so there's one settler. There's two settler. Oh, I see. He walked up, sort of. Yeah, probably there. Because that way we can more or less plonk right down on top of the anomalies and whatnot. Okay. So they got the lumber mills. I'm confused. I really wish there was a way to heal these guys faster. Maybe there is, and I just don't know it. Anyway, mill foundry, seed storage, empire mint. Public granary. Oh, yeah. Uh, ex on an exploitation? No. Train industry summer. I'm gonna just throw money at this problem until it goes away. Okay. Because, yeah, this is... We're, we've got a pretty wealthy start. And uh, once we get a couple more techs... We'll get even wealthier, which is nice. Okay, end turn. You know, I bet these guys would heal a hell of a lot faster if I actually garrisoned them somewhere. I'm just really lazy. Because we can build them so fast. And eventually, uh, once we get the next uh, research, the next tier in armor, uh, then I'll just switch them over to pure dust, which I think is better than glass steel. Anyway, we get that. We get that. We get that. And we get attacked. We just completed uh, two faction quests in one go. Neat. Okay, so let's grab these. Let's move. Are you not moving? Alright, can you not move? Are you functionally useless? You are. Fascinating. Okay, we'll drop that down. So that's another area to the... To the squad, to the group, to the whatever you want to call it. Why can you not just go, simply go around people? Why is this so hard? Why is pathing impossible? I have, I am floored. Okay, whatever. Oh, at least we're still getting pearls here. Not as much, but we're still getting pearls. Winter will come soon, and the winters get longer too, which is always nice. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys walk up. We might get attacked, we might lose one or two. That is a bit of a problem, but whatever. Okay. He's really only level two. I'm a bit surprised. The influence boost. Oh, the influence boost is going to be nice, especially with this. City center, district. I should probably consider even moving him back. The problem is most of my cities don't benefit from like half of his boosts. But that's okay. Okay, so Neth. Neth is going great now. Terrain with forest. Right away. Okay, right. We should probably also get that. Yeah, spice extractor. Uh, maybe not glass steel. Titan bone. Definitely need that. Moon leaf, need that. Okay, can't do the luxury. Could do the strategic, but I think it costs you. Oh, wait, no. We want to do the luxury, so let's get rid of the Titan Bone Extractor. And get the luxury. There we go. More Titan Bones! So that's always nice. Speaking of, let's use it. So that, yeah, literally just puts it at 46. Which is more of a problem on Antab, because Antab uh, doesn't really need it. Oof. All that industry. Well, I guess it's not quite going to waste, but still. Let's keep selling the Castronauts. I guess I can make some more Seekers here. We can also go to war at some point. That'd be kind of fun. And Idelia is not done with anything right. 
Because Adelia doesn't have anything to do with itself. Okay, so we'll just do the basic ones. We'll do... Canal... Let's start with the right of way, and then public granary. Buy all those things, which makes life a lot easier. You'll make it or die trying. I don't know. It bothers me a little bit that my uh, Zoya Sprite Slash is a ranged character, so you effectively, despite being actually really weak, HP-wise, uh, despite being kind of my, like, uh, you know, big tough hero or whatever, he's kind of worthless at uh, soaking shots because nobody's going to attack him. Okay, Glimpse of New Era. We've already got the altar to level 2. So we get Blessings of the Mother. Oh, we needed that earlier in retrospect. Oh, well. And we got to go to a Boast Village in Dejul. Okay, uh, we want to retreat. Oh, is that how I lost a settler? I have no idea. Well, it doesn't matter. You can't touch this. I just made a city. We should probably use our, our vast funds to actually start buying, um... Uh, let's see, lumber mills would be nice. Canal could be... yeah, canal right away. Uh, we should probably use our fun vast funds to actually start buying heroes here. So we need to get up to four or five hundred first. That's fine. How are we ranking here? Uh, absolute top. Yeah, this is a good faction. The, the slow movement kind of sucks a bit, but... I mean, honestly, we've already gone above and beyond that. Okay, so you guys are going to go up here to Adelia. And we're going to garrison everybody. I'll just have him stand on Adelia for the time being. But we'll have these guys garrison here just so they heal. <laughs> oh, they're so injured. All right. Uh, let's see. So we're, we're up here grabbing pearls. I'm surprised that uh, the AIs haven't been expanding as much. The nice thing is my people are pretty happy here. So you can get Hernus, no. Need, need, yeah, no. Jotus, no. If one of these gave, like, movement speed, I'd be down for it. But they don't, so I don't care. Okay, uh, who else has not moved you? Because, yeah, let's keep collecting those pearls. Luckily, we're getting a fair amount of pearls. And the nice thing is, um... Yeah, let's go this way. We still can't go out into the ocean yet. The nice thing is, once we take out all of these uh, enemy groups... Ah, let's go attack these guys. He'll have backup. They took more damage. Uh, we'll have to take out these villages soon. I think the Driders actually have a good effect. We'll have to work on that later. Uh, you. Antab. Antab is... has made some Castronauts. I could always just use the Castronauts. Let's keep doing science. Okay. Yeah, hopefully my people stationed in Idilia won't die. But also, it's not like... It's not gonna hurt me too much if they do. I can always make more, and I can make a lot more. Because I'm not even using Antab at, like, max capacity here. Ooh. Hey, I can buy, I can buy another hero. Okay, so we can get Earl the Speaker. He's defensive-based. I don't like that as much. It's a hero sister. A sister of mercy hero. I've never seen this before. Uh, a, a neutral faction hero. So health region in owned region or army. Reduced military upkeep. Extra damage on hero. Food income cannot be a negative. Dust income cannot be a negative. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to use her, honestly, just because she's okay at best. She doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, really strong abilities, period. Uh, for, like, being a city administrator, it's supposed to be the influence boost, but it's still really cool that it's there. Does this guy count? Yeah, he does. Okay. Wouldn't mind getting researcher, uh, Nam Kang. I don't really want to do Adra the Listener or Earl the Speaker. Come on, give me the cool ones. We can always do Waybridge again. I 
Yeah, just nothing but way bridges all the way down. I guess I could, I could actually just, like, beeline this direction for the percent bonuses. Give me a 20%. Or I could just wait. Let's take a look at Nam King again. He's got... Happiness and food. Like the food boost is really good. Okay, yeah, let's get let's get Nam Kang. There's always gonna be another one, so let's throw Nam Kang on Adelia. Maybe? No. Uh Adelia has three, four, two. We'll throw him on uh down here. More or less just leave him there as like an HP uh a, a food booster guy. Population growth and whatnot. Okay. He's ready. He's good. Okay, who needs to level up? Tinu the Chosen. There we go. Love them as administrators. They're so good. When you get the right ones. When you don't get the right ones, it feels kind of meaningless. Okay. So how are you guys doing? Yeah, they're healing up. Yeah, so if your guys are really injured, just station them somewhere and they'll do it. Okay. So I'm going to take a break from science. Let's not get the Chapel of Origa. Oh, I see. Advanced alchemy, probably worthwhile. Good stuff, but yeah, let's let's get this done quick. Okay, and you'll just wait there, and then we'll send my army up. Uh, cause yeah, I just I took a huge science hit for that, but in doing so, we're gonna be able to get um. More science once we get that structure down, because that'll pretty much triple it. Uh, do we? Mac oh, I see. Okay, made the seekers. You know what I could do? I could just make a new army. Okay, failed quests. No surprise. So let's take this army up. Up this direction. Uh, can I pluck him right there? Yeah. What's wrong? Okay. They weren't moving for some reason. I was kind of confused. Okay, can you guys... Okay, you guys can move there. So they... I, they must have been... Oh, it's because my city's on Temple Ruins. Duh. That's fine. We'll get that. We'll get all these done really quick. That'll be all good. Can you merge with this army? You can. You, that lets us move there and fight the te techites. They're tough techites, though. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Do we still have some movement? Ah, eh, we got like half a move. It's like on the road. Okay. What can you do? Dust. Could do another Garth. Yeah, let's do another Garth. So this is the city center. Let's go this way. I forget, we get like huge bo bonuses as long as I go along the river. Very good idea for me to do that. Okay, what else do we have? Gold. Which apparently I let stop and die. Which we need. We're starting to get uh, Moonleaf too, which is good. And we should be able to just keep um, Titan Bones running at full force for forever. Which is nice. A. Okay, so extra distant district. I'd love to be able to get the plus three movement, but we can't do. So I think this will be good enough. Because, yeah, we need extra science here. Okay, so Dilia's looking good. I'm probably just going to leave those guys there for the time being. Because I can always produce more. That'll be done in one turn. Okay. Eh, let's make some more cash knots. Until we run out of things that can be done in one turn. Might as well maximize my ind industry. I don't... Like, there's kind of a weird stockpile to this game, like a stockpiling mechanic, but I've yet to figure out the exact mechanics, and I don't feel like doing so immediately. Okay. Okay, Soldatan needs a thing. Soldatan can build dust refinery. You really can't... Wow. I'm actually kind of impressed. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, so that's worth some. That's worth... Uh... Let's just do food for the time being. The yeah, problem is we need winter to come so we can get pearls, and we're a long way away. Because I've been 
I've been spending a lot of my pearls, unfortunately, on Antab here. Um, expanding out. Like, despite the despite the fact that I'm doing really well here, resource-wise, this is probably still going to be one of the last times I use this faction, just because... Okay, negotiation tactics, useless to me. Reactivate spices booster. Oh, the luxuries are just so good here. Okay, let's just go down this direction. Dismiss. We're getting siege. Oh, that's inconvenient. We're actually getting sieged by multiple groups. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to move you guys back to science. Which is worth a fair amount to me. Once you guys... I don't know which group this is. Driders. Okay. Well, they're dead. If we're lucky... I kind of want to just wipe the floor with all the neutral faction territories for a second. Wasn't there, like, a army? No, I guess we can go for this one. Doesn't look like there's any more villages. So we'll take out this group, too, next turn. And then we'll sweep down and go for the other guys. I'm so glad, uh... Nobody's up here to oppose me, grabbing all these pearls for the time being. That has been a blessing. Not even a disguise, it's just straight up blessing time. Okay, you guys are looking injured, but that's fine. Ultimately, you're all expendable. <laughs> uh, I feel I feel bad for just like throwing my my units around like uh, like silly, you know, wasteful. But man, it's it's necessary. Okay, dust alchemy is good. Right away. Up, oh, somebody's made the alchemic and institute. Whatever will I do? Pop my titan bones. How's my score doing? Score is doing great. Okay, so you got those pearls. Oh, oh. You're going up here. So this... Might actually be more of an issue than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, how much money do I have? A lot of money. Let's do that. We got some Seekers and we got some cash knots on the way. I'm actually going to go down fast. Mainly because we need, to, we need to break that siege. It'll still take them a good long time before they get there. But I still don't want to deal with it. Okay, uh, you guys. We're gonna take out this centaur group. Well. Oh, well, we're manual fighting for once. Been a while since I've done this. Eh, works for me. Honestly, if this game had, like, Fire Emblem style combat, I think I'd be much more interested in the way combat works. Unfortunately, it's not. We're fine. I think I am gonna start uh, supplementing Drider forces in. Uh, part of the problem is here, we've got a lot of uh, melee units. And so we surround the enemy really, really well and like they do a pretty damn good job. Oh, he's got like a Healy move. I didn't realize that he had a Heliora. Um, but if we had like a bunch of ranged units to pick people off in the background, in the back, that'd probably make life easier for me. My units are not bad though. I love the like weird floaty wing things that we have. Is he attacking me? He is attacking me, okay. And then he's dead. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of inch, uh, not, uh, we do not have a whole lot of initiative. But yeah, I, I think if this game had, like, really quality, um... Fire Emblem-style combat, I think I'd be much more interested. Or even, like, um... Oh, what's the other game? Uh, Advanced Wars. But it doesn't. It's got pretty basic combat. That, like, yeah, I could manually control it, but... It doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot of need for me to do so. Okay, so you can move, but where and what? Unfortunately, we don't know where any other pearls are for the time being. 
They're all out in the ocean. Okay, let's just head back to somewhere. And you can't do anything anyway. Okay, uh, Soldatan needs to build stuff. Soldatan. Train with the sea or lake. City center district. Okay, uh, so we could do the luxury booster. The Garth. Let's do the luxury just because it'll let me start expanding out a little bit. Dust depository. Uh, terrain with river. Because I, I think I'm done expanding out my, um... I'm done expanding out my, uh, my main city for a while. Until we get a lot more. Oh, right, this is the one we wanted to get. Dust Transmuter is the number one must-have item on this list. Let's also run the list really fast. Okay, uh, so you guys are done. You have no more actions. Okay, let's just take our turn. This is working out pretty well. I'm going to take a drink of water, because I'm realizing I'm very dehydrated. What the? Okay, where's Neth? Neth. Can't do... Oh, because you're blockaded, probably. Anyway. Let's wipe these guys out. Let's wipe these guys out. Let's wipe somebody out. There we go. Let's not take in the Skyfin, though. Auto, ready to fight. Okay, that wipes them out. Hurt a little bit, but uh, now that they're down, Neth can go back to building. Okay, right. I still have some pearls up here. Well, that's lucky. Okay, and Skyfin. There really needs to be a button that you just press. It's like, go collect pearls for me in the most efficient course possible. No dice. Okay, so let's do expansion disapproval. Reduction. Uh, cargo docks is okay, but it's not that great. I do have the army size increase. Let's get, uh... Let's get stockpiles, too, because we're going to need that, too. Okay, and you have an action. Murder these driders. So, question. Driders. Wait. Is that them? There we go. Extra defense per pacified. And rebuilt village. I mean, they're not a bad support unit, though. Kind of. Extra attack, extra vision. Flying. I don't really need any of these, though. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, I think I'm just gonna fortify Neth for the time being. We've got this neutral army rolling around. I'm just not really sure. They're not, they're not aggressive. Eh, we'll kill them anyway. Oh, let's see. End turn. We need that winter to come soon. I'm actually surprised it's taking so long for the winter to come. I guess we're only 50 turns in, so I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we're not... Oh, what is this resource? Oh, I'm in the Age of Industry. Good. And Oxidation. Oh, that increases the cost of strategic resources. Sorry, for a second I thought I got more. Okay, so gather adamantines, search rooms. What is this? Hydromiel. Oh. Is there still a Tekite village up here? There must be. Because where are they coming from? Oh, there it is. So yeah, we've got a little Tekite... We've got... No, that's a Tekite army. No, that's not even a Tekite army. That's a Minotaur army, probably to go with that Garan village. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Okay, so we've got a lot of things. So let's do... Dust Depository is kind of good. Let's get the Cryometric whatever Majigger, probably. No, let's get the large-scale thing, and the Laboratory, and the... Hmm. Central Market. We don't really need the Dust Depository. 
doesn't really help me much. Okay. And Verkal. Central Market. Don't care about the dust dust depository that much either. Ah, Adamantine. Uh, where? Oh, right, because this zone is, like, weird, weirdly laid out. Like, truly strange. <laughs>